Manuel in Mexico City writes to me and he says, I have set up my system according to your audiophile guide. Great. That's helped a lot of people out, I assure you. Uh, my central image is always to the left of center. Mm -hmm. I've tested with friends and my daughter and they hear it dead center. So I have a minor hearing loss in my left ear. Mm -hmm. I know I should have been prepared. Uh, what would be the best way to get a good central image for me? Relocating the speakers, the balance control, or sit in a different location? I built a music room using your calculator, so thanks for all the education we get from your videos. <laughs> My pleasure. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's a simple one. I would do, uh, certainly do not change your speaker positioning. That would be a mistake. I would want you to move the balance control over. That's going to be the simplest, easiest way to do it. Because if you move your seat, it, it's, it's visually going to be off. And, and you know, a lot of this, this is something that people don't really clue in on all that often. That is the visual aspect of a stereo system. When you have two speakers, that center image is Part of it is a, a mental illusion that if we close our eyes, we kind of, you can try that and, and, it, and relax yourself. It's very different than if you're actually viewing it. And this is one of the reasons why I am a proponent of putting art or something to focus on visually in your system, right dead center back here. Okay, now in our listening room, we've got that the PS logo. We've got, uh, I think, which I probably wound up covering up and violating my own <laughs> stuff. <laughs> we'll get it back. But to the, to the extent that you can, put something visually right about, right here, about the height of a human, right in the center, because that'll help create that, that image that you get in a stereo system. Now, for Manuel, that's going to be important. So if you then move off to the side, you're going to, your whole brain's going to go, uh, uh, even though it sounds right, it looks wrong. And that's not a good way to go. And then moving your system, now you've got everything that you work so hard with in the audiophile's guide for setup, you've kind of wrecked that. So best way to do it, just crank that balance control over to where it sounds right to you and you are in. All right, my friend. Thanks for the question. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.